Where is Chris Hackett? Shut up. What a rude. Guys, she murdered Kaylee. We have been over this. What's up, y'all? Macho here. Welcome back to the quarry. We are playing as Ryan. <clears throat> And we are, uh, we're not sure what we want to do here. Um, uh, who do we trust? Do we trust Laura and her story? We're going to take charge. I said shut up. You've done enough talking. Okay, so you talk. Say what you got to say. Ryan, maybe this is a bit much. I mean, just think about everything that's happened tonight. Um, we are, I think, I mean, I'm convinced Ryan should be too, but I don't know why he's, he's going crazy. Hold up. Because of the you bite. You said you heard a woman crying when you escaped? Why? What do you know? The hag of Haggett's quarry. We know about it. Just reminds me of a local story I know. The hag of Hackett's quarry. A woman in the woods. They say that she died years ago. And now she sort of roams the darkness waiting for her lost boy. These guys hate it when I talk about it. You've seen her. No. I don't know. But I heard this thing back at the police station, a, a podcast. Zarya Bonafide? Yeah, that's it. It looks like Travis was keeping an eye on it. Why? Maybe it's more than a story. Look, all I can tell you for sure is that whatever's happening at Hackett's Quarry runs deeper than you know. Just gonna go right ahead and take that back from you there. Good idea. So, come on. Where does Chris Hackett live? When he's not at camp, I mean. He probably locked himself in the basement again. That would be my guess. What makes you think I know that? Uh, you guys are counselors, right? You've spent the last two months here? He's not in the storm shelter. I'm clearly getting nowhere hunting him in the woods. I need a place to start. I think that spooky house behind these woods. No. Oh, spooky what? house. There's got to be another way. I think he got bit. I think Chris Hackett got bit by something else. By somebody else. Listen, there could be another way. Have you thought about that? I've spent the last month thinking about nothing else. Look, when the sun comes up, I am stuck until the next full moon. So is Max, so is anyone else he's bitten. How is that our problem? Why don't you ask your friends in the woods? And don't forget about Nick, dude. Okay, any clothes I'm gonna have to spray you two with cold water. Ryan, let's just get out of here. I'm running out of time. If I can't find Chris Hackett, then a lot more people are going to get hurt. I'm going with you. What? what? Uh, yeah, what they said. Yeah, I don't... Chris has something to do with it, but I don't think he's the source. I'm going to show you that Chris Hackett has nothing to do with this. He wanted us to stay inside tonight. He wanted us safe. I don't care what you think. I don't care what you think. Shut up. Fine, do whatever you want. You saw what happened to Nick. He was bitten. Everything's gonna be fine. That cop car you stole, where is it? Ditched in the lake. Why? It was a stolen cop car. You're gonna have to try and fix the minivan. Get somewhere safe. How long do you have? An hour or two? I don't know. It doesn't seem like an exact science. 
and we better get going. Nick was good for a, a couple of hours, I think. Are you sure this is the right way? Pretty sure, yeah. Pretty or definitely? What do I look like, a tour guide? Um, we're not suspicious. Has he been there? Have you actually been there before? I mean, no. Wait, seriously? I know as much as you do. How well do you know Chris Hackett? Mr. H, pretty well. Like you're pretty sure we're going the right way? When I first came to camp, I was going through some personal shit, and Mr. H helped me sort it out. He's a good guy. You don't know him like I do. You don't know him at all. Okay, okay, jeez. Teacher's pet. Why are you like this? Um, yeah, I'm not sure why she's being so, like, antagonistic. Look, I don't think anybody knows anybody, not really. Well, I know Mr. H, and, and he never hurt any of us. Well, I know for a fact he's not the good guy you think he is. All he does is try to help people. That's what his whole camp is all about, to help the kids. Yeah, I don't doubt it. You know what I have to do, right? I know. But only if we can't talk to him. If we can't find another way. Lead the way. There's another. There's another patient zero that we have to to kill. There it is. Hack your house. Creepy so house. he lives in some redneck mansion with his redneck family in the ass crack of the woods? Look at this place. No, but it's where his mom lives, I think. I've never been there, but if we're looking for answers, it's probably the best place to start. So, uh, wait, how do we get there? What do you mean? How do we get to the house? That's a really good question. Maybe we just don't. Bro. <laughs> Look, I understand Chris is your friend. If there was another way, I'd tell you. Sure. Yeah. Laura, Chris is a good man. This isn't about good and evil, Brian. Just how can you be so certain? If I let my conscience slow me down now, everything gets a lot worse for everyone. Believe me, if there's another way, I'm all for it. Hey, where are you going? You're on a timer, remember? There must be another way across somewhere. I got you. Careful, it's gonna go. <laughs> Oh, shit. Holy shit. Are you okay? Laura? It stalks your breath, but shuns clear water. Great. Oh my god, Laura. Marion, jazz hands. Here's a thought. What are you doing? Relax. Look. Oh. What big eyes you have, Grandma. No shit. Can you see yellow in my eyes? Define yellow. We haven't got much time.
All right, so healing properties not bad at all, but insatiable hunger, killing all your friends, blowing your skin off at every full moon. Those things are not great. This must be part of the old working quarry. A miner's lunchbox. The forgotten belongings of a quarry miner abandoned in the tunnels. A letter of foreclosure within indicates that this has been down here since the 1930s. Wow. Makes sense. So that had some, some deets on it. That has some dirt. Let's read it. Dear valued employee, I regret to inform you that your services at Hackett's Quarry will no longer be required. It is my intention to return the site of the central quarry to an area of natural beauty by flooding it and allowing a lake to form in its place. The lake! You'll be paid until the end of this coming week and then asked to vacate the premises. I'd like to thank you for your continued loyalty and wish you well in all your future endeavors. So you got fired. Yours faithfully, Septimus Hackett. That's how you know this is old. This dude's name was Septimus. And then written at the bottom, tight bastard just can't pay us. Last time I trust a Hackett. Old Septimus. So those bodies at the bottom of the lake are probably miners. The old miners from the 30s, but those bodies were pretty well intact. Maybe that's not the case. There's some mining tools. These must have Old quarry tools. These rusty old tools are leftovers from Hackett's Quarry Industrial Heyday before the mine's foreclosure. Been from the quarry days. No duh. No one's been down here for years. I like how the way her shirt is now, it looks like a leather jacket, plus the eye patch. It really had Laura out here looking like a badass. Did you hear that too? It's her. Who? The hag of Hackett's quarry. It's like she's warning us off. Or guiding us. I don't know. Oh, shit. You think anyone heard that? No, they can't have done. This place is not up to code. I mean, if the code is literally crumbling to the ground, then I think it's doing fine. Let's just keep moving. Yeah. Careful. Jeez. Did she push him? Was that like a playful push? Holy crap. Nothing over there. Just look at this place. Uh oh. Rusty steps. Funny, Laura. No 
boy, this is high. Whoa. What is that? Do you think actually something is in here with us? Either that or this route isn't as disused as we thought. Scarred flesh? What was that? And where is it? Evidence? Scarred flesh. A lump of what appears to be damaged or scarred flesh. That's disgusting. A long way down. Yeah, we're high up. Well, where's cave out? <laughs> Look who's finding their funny bone. Hilarious, dude. So what's your deal then? What do you mean? The whole mysterious brooding loner thing. It doesn't quite fit with the I love my camp leader vibe. So I don't fit into the right box. Is that what you're saying? Uh, yeah, that's not what I meant. You know, that's not what I mean. I've been coming here for years. You get to know a place and it feels like a second home, you know? I mean, until now. What about your friend, uh, Caitlin? Is that her name? It seems like she looks up to you. Yeah, she, she has the hots for me. Dylan does too. Oh, modesty, thy name is Ryan. I'm not being smug about it. It's just a fact. They're not exactly secretive about it. So what about you? Who do you like more? Oh, shit. I don't know. Maybe neither. This way. I see a light. Yeah. Or you can just hang out here, up to you. Jesus. Someone's been eating their spinach. So, you want to go into the collapsing nightmare tunnel first, or shall I? Yeah. Ooh, Wheel of Fortune. Nice. Um, we've already seen that one. The Wheel of Fortune. After all, fortune is nothing but a spinning wheel. Sometimes you have to take a chance. Karma works in mysterious ways, but it favors those who pay attention. Watch closely. Though the wheel spins, the eagle-eyed can tell where it's going to stop. Interesting. Looks promising. Looks creepy. Honestly. Nothing interesting to look at in here. Big empty room. Careful. Splinters. Thanks. I'm fine. Guess we found the party. Alcohol. From Prohibition. These are rum running tunnels. That would make that liquor almost a hundred years old. Probably still good. Good. Probably is still Try good. Try vintage. Well, I guess the Hackets were bootleggers. Makes sense. I guess when the quarry shut down, they branched out. Come on, time travel later. Oh, Septimus. He knew what he was doing. You 
think this is it? Uh, beats me. I'm pretty much completely lost. <sighs> yeah, me too. Shall we? Uh-oh, what's Caitlyn doing? Uh, what happened here? Eh, it's complicated. Gosh, I used to think this place was so cozy. This place, really? Yeah, it reminded me of a ski lodge. Sounds cold. <laughs> but you've never fantasized about being trapped on a remote ski resort in a snowstorm? The cable car is broken, and you've only got each other for warmth. And when the food runs out, you've only got each other. Weird fantasy. <laughs> That's funny. That seemed like a reference to Until Dawn. It was like the same uh, premise. They're, they're on a ski resort. Uh, we'll be optimistic. <laughs> A ski vacation does sound pretty nice right about now, though, huh? You ever been skiing? <laughs> Don't know the first thing about it. A couple trips down the bunny slope, you'll get the hang of it. Oh, well, then, we better get this van up and running, then, huh? I was just about to ask why they're here, but yeah, they're, that's their whole job is to get the van going. But they can't. They're missing a piece. And we thought it was a good idea just to take what? a piece. Maybe we should have broke something. That way they could have fixed it. Huh. Well, let's see what the damage is. Well, fix or no fix? Okay. Can you fix it? No. Oh. Not without some parts. Specifically, a rotor arm. There's a scrapyard up the road. So you can fix it? Well, no promises, but if there's hope, that's where we're gonna find it. There's a scrapyard up the road. Holy moly. How convenient. It sounds like a long shot. We are encouraging. We're not negative. We're going to stay positive through Dylan, it all. Come on. Look, I need you. We need you. Fine. Okay. Once again, Dylan puts himself in mortal danger for the sake of his work friends. Dylan? Yeah? Shut the fuck up. Uh, I'm starting to dislike you. Mm, like I care. Oh boy, there's the path. I guess, uh, what would have happened, I wonder, if it was a broken fuel line or something? What the hell? What was that? Huh? What was that? Oh, it's nothing. We got we got guests downstairs. We don't want any more blood on our hands. What the hell happened to you anyway? Uh, it's a long story, Miles. So. You always got a long story. Come on. Fine. Ow. Oh, get up. Stay down. <laughs> Now, playing as Ryan. What are we... Oh, Empress. 
Yeah, buddy. The Empress, look at her. Those at the top can fall the hardest. Such a shame to nurture little monsters only to live long enough to watch them kill you. But it's no less than she deserves. All right. This way. Come on. What is this? A rum still? An antiquated rum still, likely from the Prohibition days. A relic of the Hackett's family past. This is an old still. I guess business was booming. So did they get a curse placed on them or did they drink some bad rum? Did they get a bad batch? Maybe some of that old white lightning. I thought I saw where I can interact with something here. I guess not. Jeez. Poor kid. Head this big. Bobby. Who's Bobby? Damn, Bobby. I bet Bobby's the big one with the overalls. The Emperor too. Whoa. Authority, paternity, structures designed to topple. No. How the mighty may fall and their empires with them. Let them bleed. Let them rip each other apart. Let them rot. Wow. It's aggressive. Okay. Through the red doorway it is. QTE. We made it. It's coming from a bed. These are the cages, right? Yeah. Check up. Ryan. Jesus, what happened to you? Don't you dare open that cage. Hey, bad idea. Oh, shit. Look, you gotta get me out of here, man. How? Seriously. It's electrified. Okay, um, there's a box in the corner of the room. I think that's how they're operated, okay? I saw this old guy, under dude from the woods. He used that. Here we go. We get J Jacob out of there. Why are you here, Travis? You ought to be out with the others. Like I say, we've been all night long trying to keep those kids safe. Uh, <clears throat> it's Kaylee. She's dead. Oh, no. <laughs> no. The boys are bringing her in right now. Now I know you got to screw loose in that cop head of yours. There ain't no way to kill her in her kind of condition. Silver bullet. She's dead, Ma. No. No, 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 not my granddaughter, not my only granddaughter, not my Kaylee, not my little Kaylee, not my little Kaylee, not my little Kaylee, you goddamn piece of shit, not my little Kaylee, God damn you, what did you do to her? Don't get crazy now, Travis. Don't start being manipulative. Did you get bitten? Is she crazy? 
What is she doing? She's just looking. Oh! Laura. What have you done? Oh, no. We should have stopped her. I didn't see what she was doing. That's probably not even Chris. <laughs> why I need to find the key tonight. When I say yes, you say no. Man, what is this? What's happening here? Does that mean all three of them are dead now? Does that mean they're all dead? Welcome back. Did you miss me? Hopefully you've brought me some more of my cards. Let's have a look, shall we? I think we got three of them. The Empress. Look at her. <laughs> Those are the top can fall the hardest. Such a shame to nurture little monsters only to live long enough to watch them kill you. <laughs> but it's no less than she deserves. The Wheel of Fortune. After all, fortune is nothing but a spinning wheel. Sometimes you have to take a chance. Karma works in mysterious ways, but it favors those who pay attention. Watch closely. Though the wheel spins, the eagle-eyed can tell where it's going to stop. The Emperor. Authority, paternity, strictures designed to topple, no? How the mighty may fall, and their empires with them. Let them bleed. Let them rip each other apart. Let them rot. <laughs> Details. Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna see more about the Wheel of Fortune, then I think. Then choose the possible future you'd like to witness. And watch carefully. Try and find some clarity in the chaos. See, these are possible futures. So we have, we could change things. I'm going to see the Wheel of Fortune. Oh, oh so we could Go. lose the share of... still got time. Be careful now. Be very careful. So that's chapter eight down. Playing as uh, Dylan, we're going to the scrapyard with Caitlin. Um, we and we still got no confirmation of who that was in the cage. Uh, Laura shot whoever it was. Um, it was probably Emma, or it was that's it, or it was Nick. I'm start. I'm thinking, uh, I, it kind of looked like it was wearing jeans. I'm thinking it was Nick, but, uh, we'll see. Comment down below who you think it was in the cage. Uh, like the video if you're enjoying the series, if you're enjoying the content, subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see you all in the next episode.